ok. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you are fine. In our lecture today, we will define poetry and its main types. So, this lecture will include the following. A brief history of English poetry. What is poetry? Types of poetry. We have many types like narrative poetry, for example, epic poetry, dramatic poetry, and lyrical poetry, for example, sonnet and audi poetry. We have other types like blank verse and elegy. Moving on, I will start with a brief history of English poetry. Well, actually, the history of English poetry goes back to the old English Anglo-Saxon prehistory to 11th century. The old English interested in religious, epic poetry, proverbs, riddles, and charms. Also, we have the use of alteration rather than rhyme in poetry at that time. For example, we have a hymn to creation by Saint Cademan who lived between 658 to 680 AD. What is this AD? Actually, the meaning of AD is a no domini or a year referring to the year of Christ's birth. Actually, the terms before Christ and Anno Domini are used to label or number years in the Julian and Gregorian calendars. So while the meaning of PC is before Christ, the meaning of AD is Anno Domini or a year referring to the year of Christ's birth. The other example is the Epic Saga Beowulf between 600 to 1000 AD. We have the poetry of the Middle Ages between 11th century to 16th century. It included three amount of lyric poems, fantastical chivalric romances, Rhythm and rhyme replace articulation. For example, we have Geoffrey Chaucer's between 1343 to 14 contemporary tales. Another stage in the history of English poetry called the Renaissance between 16th to 17th centuries. In the Renaissance, we have the sonnet and the pastoral poem. The sonnets of William Shakespeare, Edmund Spencer, and Paradise Lost. Also, in this period, we have the metaphysical poets, including John John and Andrew Marvel. Moving on to the restoration period, represented by the 18th century 
and Augustan. In this period, poetry included satire, which Dr. Huda of Alexander Bob, for example, and Jonathan Swift. Dr. Huda. Another stage is the Romantic from 18th to 19th centuries. Dr. Huda, it's my In the Romantics, we have nature and authentic morality moving away from strictest poetic rules of meter and rhyme. Poets like William Blake, William Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor, Coleridge, Percy, Pushy Shelley, Lord Byron, and John Keats. Also, we have a stage in the history of English poetry, which is the Victorian, represented by 19th century. We have the poet Alfred Lord Tennyson, who makes extensive views of a classical myth and Arthurian legend, and has been praised for the beautiful and musical qualities of his writing. Also, we have Robert Browning. Browning's chief interest is in people. He uses blank verse in writing dramatic monologues. The and later uh, present his baron al alienation. Sorry, alienation, pessimism, and taboos. Major powers like Thomas Hardy as an abound. W.B. Yeats, Rudyard, Kipling, T.S. Eliot, Victor The West Line, the most important and famous poem, W.H. Odin, Dylan Thomas, and Alan Jensberg. The last period is the contemporary age. From Secret from 1960 to present. It is represented by the use of free verse and traditional forms, fragmentation, intertextuality, pastiche, parody, quotes, and direct references, and ambiguity. Major poets, John Ashbery and Simeon Sheeney. Well, now, after giving a brief history of the English poetry, now I will move on to define poetry. So what is poetry? Poetry is one of the main genres of literature, as we have previously said, which is the art of rhythmical composition, written or spoken. It is designed to produce effect through profound and imaginative thought. However, poetry has many types. So what are the types of poetry? We will have some main types of poetry and other types. The main types will start with Narrative poetry. So what is the narrative poetry? It is that kind of poetry which is used to tell an event or a series of events in the form of poetry, such as epics. For example, we have Gilgamesh in Iraq, which is a well-known epic, so it is called epic poetry. 
So what is epic poetry? It is a long narrative poem dealing with great heroes and adventures having a national worldwide or cosmic setting involving supernatural forces and written in ceremonial style such as the old English epic poem. The second main type is dramatic poetry. So what is dramatic poetry? Actually, it is the poetry which employs the dramatic forms or a place written in verse and partly in prose, such as Shakespeare's play Othello. This is dramatic poetry. The third main type is lyrical poetry. So what is lyrical poetry? Is that poetry which has the form and a musical quality of a song by which the poet expresses personal feeling and experiences such as sonnet and audi. So lyrical poetry is a song. Okay. For example, we have two types of lyrical poetry, like sonnets. So what is a sonnet? Actually, a sonnet is a lyric poem of 14 iambic pentameter lines, and this can be seen in Shakespeare's sonnets. Later, we will know what is iambic pentameter line okay the other important type is output poetry what is output poetry well it is a long lyric poem formal and style and complete in form often written in Common oration or celebration of a special quarry or occasion, such as Ozzy to the Nightingale by John Keats. We have other types of poetry, like plank beers. So, what is a plank beers? Well, it is a rhymed iambic pentameter. A line of five feet, such as Samuel Taylor Coleridge's poem, The Lime Tree, Power My Prison. The last other type is elegy. What is an elegy? It is a poem of mourning, usually over death of an individual, such as Thomas Gray, Elegy written in a country churchyard. That was the end of our lecture today. For further reading, please refer to this reference. Next lecture, I will start with the main poetic terms used in English poetry. Thank you very much for your time and good luck. Okay, now what I want you to know from this lecture is how to define poetry and its main types. Okay, these are important definitions. 